Hey, everybody. Hmm. Maybe I can do this a little different. Nobody going to talk to me tonight? Hello, family. Hey, Jason. All right. There's somebody who's saying, hey, Connie. Is that Connie talking to me? It All is. Right. Now you can see my messed up hairdo. <laughs> uh, you look fine. Woo -hoo! I'm pretty. Boy, I tell you, I saw some pictures today from my kids uh, years gone by, and my hair is getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Yeah, you can see that kiss. That's what we're going to tell. I'm going to teach you how to kiss tonight. <laughs> Not here in the group. How about that? Where's everybody's uh, lovely faces at? Let me see. I'm a little early. I am so not left-handed. Scoot this way. I am left-handed. See where y'all y'all can see how much is it better this way or is it better up close? I think better that way. Better that way or this way? This way. This way? Okay. I'll leave it like that. I can always just erase the board and start over if I need to. All right. Okay. There. Bald head is in the picture. Good. YouTube. Text alert. Class topic. What am I missing? Special deal. That's right, forlifedeal.com. If you want to share a lifetime membership with your friends, please. This is a Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye, Travis Martin's uh, special. Everything, including the kitchen sink, is in, uh, is in the Tiger's Eye membership. If you don't have a Tiger's Eye membership, a Tiger's Eye level membership, uh, get one through me, please. I'm, I'm going to just shamelessly ask you. I need some sign-ups. It is, it, it is getting a few and far between over here uh, in Dalton. ForLifeDeal.com is a special link for a $99 lifetime membership. If, if I could say this really fast, uh, Facebook has decided to algorithm uh, me out of <clears throat> existence, meaning uh, when I go live on Facebook, although I have 5,000 friends, they don't want to show me to anybody. So I'm going to try to build my YouTube page. The name of my YouTube page is The Switch Handler. Yeah, so y'all go to thinking about uh, whether or not you can whoop a bear with a switch. I can whoop all bears with a switch. 
Therefore, I am the switch handler. Find me on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit the little bell, the notification bell. So when I go, uh, when I do put something on my YouTube page, it'll send you a notification. Um, hopefully I can get that going. When I get a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to go live on YouTube and then I can go from YouTube to Facebook and it, it should uh, open up the world of social media to me again. And that's my, my prayer right now is that I can figure this thing out. If you're not a member of my text alerts tonight, go ahead and uh, type in 888-831-1207 into your phone. Matter of fact, just go into your contacts in your phone and type in 888-831-1207 and save it to your contacts as Shibboleth text alerts. Okay, Shibboleth text alerts. That will be this number. And then once you've done that, pull Shibola text alerts up and send me a text to my Jason, okay? Just type in the word my Jason and, uh, and hit send and it should come right to me. Can y'all not hear me? I see Sherry's having a hard time hearing me. Lynn, can you hear me? Got a thumb from Lynn? Anybody else? having a hard time hearing me. I apologize, Sherry. If I look over here at my sound control, go to my audio settings, it appears, let me try to help. Yeah, it's not even letting me turn it up anymore. So let me, I could try. No, that's not, it's, that's not going to work. Can y'all, all good for Judy? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Sherry. Maybe try to uh, maybe try going out and coming back in. I apologize for that. Ah, maybe, maybe so. I'm having a diet due tonight. I have uh, decided that I didn't need a cup of coffee. I usually have a cup of coffee. I've, I possibly have three more classes to teach tonight. I'll be talking to some friends in a private group and then hopefully uh, my friend Jim will call me into a group later. So I'm gonna get right to it. Welcome to the KISS class. KISS stands for, who knows what it stands for? Into the chat if you know what KISS stands for. Look, not this kind. What does it stand for? Anybody? Nobody's typed it in yet. My drum roll is not that good. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Sweetheart, what else you got? Keep it simple. Sweeties, keep it simple. Silly. What else do y'all got? You still hadn't guessed it. Keep going. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Keep it simple, stupid. Cresta, that's not it. Keep it super simple. Yay! We got it. Way to go. They finally chirped in there at the end after Judy got it. All right, that was a great job. Uh, a lot of, I had fun. That was the most fun I've had. Well, almost the most fun I've had today. Uh, <laughs> keep it super simple. Keep it super simple. Maybe you've been struggling or maybe you've always struggled with this, this thing we call Shibboleth or this thing we call weight loss. I want to give you a foolproof plan, a foolproof plan, F-O-O-L, fool. I pity the fool, that kind of fool, a foolproof plan that revolves around Keeping it super simple, okay? I don't want anybody to, to think of themselves as silly. I don't want anybody to think of themselves as stupid. I don't want anybody, uh, you can be a sweetie or a sweetheart if you want to, but really, the idea behind KISS, keep it super simple, is to devise a plan that works. And 
make it so foolproof that um, when you engage yourself in it, okay, right. engage yourself in it. Hang on a second. I'm sorry. Two S's. There we go. When you do engage yourself into this plan, that you can't go wrong. Okay, you can't go wrong with a foolproof uh, plan. So number one, y'all want to take notes, go right ahead. You can take notes. Number one is get centered. Get centered. If you're going to make this thing work, you have to get centered. What do I mean by get centered? This is how I get centered. I look inside myself and I ask this, this simple question. Have I ever been able to do it by myself? Right? Have I ever been able to do it by myself? And the answer is always, Lynn, been no. It's always been no. I always have answered that with a no. So when I get centered, I simply surrender and say, I cannot do this alone which brings me to a place where I'm ready to keep it simple. See, when I try to do it my way, Sherry, when I try to do it my way, Georgiana, I, com I confuse it. I overthink it, right? I, or even worse, I think I got to know everything there is to know about it before I even start to do it. Now, that ain't keeping it super simple, okay? So I got to get centered. That starts with me admitting that before I can conquer this thing, I have to realize that of myself and by myself, I'm going to fail. Number two, after I get centered, I have to get connected. This is how I get connected. First, I pray to God. I pray to God and I say, God, I can't do this by myself. I need your help. And by getting connected, I stay connected. As the day goes on and on, I continue to pray not just to God, but through God. I ask God to keep the hunger, grump, the grumpy belly away. <laughs> I ask God uh, to uh, make me be satisfied with the portion that I put out in front of me. I literally have to pray through the day as well. I don't just pray to him. I pray through him. And then every single time I have prayed to him, I prayed through him and I get to the other side, Stevie, I have to praise his name. That simple connection, pray to him, pray through him and praise his name. If I can just do those three things, I'll be successful one day at a time. And that's a repeating process. That process, that's not, Kelly, that's not something I just do one time. I don't just wake up in the morning and say, all right, God, I need your help. I have to say, God, I need your help with breakfast. I need your help getting from the, the shower to the dinner table so I can, so I can get back to the bed tonight without snacking or cheating or whatever my struggle may be. Because sometimes during the day, that is, um, that changes. Some days it's, some days it's in the morning. Some days it's in the middle of the day. Some days it's at night. So if I'm gonna keep it super simple, I wanna get cleaned out. Now I wouldn't suggest doing the cleaning out phase before the getting centered or the getting connected because you're going to have to go and touch things that you don't need to be touching. Kimberly, you are going to have to get rid of some of those things that you have that sabotage you. You got to get it out of the house or you got to get so cleaned out that you have made it, you've made your connections, not just with God, but with the people that support you that you have some accountability. I had to tell a friend of mine when I swore off of sugar in my coffee, I had to tell a friend of mine, if you see me touch the creamer or the sugar, you have full rights to smack me in the hand. I didn't tell him he could smack me in the face, but he could definitely smack my hand. 
And I'm telling you, he followed me around whenever I was near a coffee pot because he wanted to smack me. I promise you he did. Because I gave him that, a permission to do it. Not because he wanted to smack me. He wanted to help me. I bet you anything, if you tell the right person to be your accountability partner and you keep them informed, they'll help you clean out. See, there's, there's some things, little Debbies, there's some things, mixed nuts, there's some things approved and unapproved that just can't be around if you're going to be successful from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed. Get the trash out or else you're setting up a place in your program to mess up. Now, how many of you believe me? How many of you believe me that it's, if you don't get the, the, your excuses out of the way, you're going to use them? Those excuses are going to be the very reason why you come back and say, Jason, I didn't listen to you. I'm going to have, I, I, but what was that simple class? What was that kiss class you were talking about again? That, uh, get centered, get connected, get cleaned out. We got to get the junk out of the house. We got to get it out of our lives. All right. Now, you might not like this one, but I like this one. Get convenient. We got to get convenient. It can, if it's not convenient, it's not simple. How do I make my diet? How do I make my weight loss program? How do I make what it is that I'm doing for myself, my family, whatever? How do I make it convenient? I got to get the essentials. Okay, the essentials, well, they're absolutely necessary. Isn't that what essential means? Okay, so I need a piece of paper and I need a pen and I need to be able to take pictures. Now, everybody I know has a cell phone with a camera. Now, every, everybody's camera doesn't work. But if you can't remember to write down what it is that you eat, you can at least take a picture of it. Now, if you start this from the very beginning, this will be the simplest thing you learn about your weight loss program tonight is that you can take a picture of your food. It's private. Nobody else is going to look at your phone and look at your pictures you're taking. It doesn't matter if it's looking like a gourmet meal. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. Get a picture of it. If you're having a holiday, bless God, take a picture of it. Okay? Your belly, your digestive system, it's all going to remember what you ate. But guess who's going to forget all the little nitpicks and all of the little particulars? You are. I am. Those pictures are vital. Now, if you don't want to take a picture and you don't want to, to uh, take a pen and a piece of paper, I want you to get the app or get the Shibboleth website and utilize it every time you eat or figure out some kind of way to record your meals. Getting convenient with these essential items, making them part of your convenient uh, life is part of being, uh, it's part of keeping it super simple. Now, some of you would disagree with me, I'm sure. There's nothing that is convenient about taking time out of my day to take a picture of my food. There's nothing convenient about taking time out of my day to uh, write down what I ate. But we're not talking about that kind of convenience. We're talking about a convenience that keeps your weight loss plan so simple that it's foolproof. If you do not want to fail, follow my directions. That's what these are tonight kids. These are directions. Okay, that's four. I'm sticking with my C's tonight, so you ready? Number five, get consecrated. Y'all know what consecrated means? It means dedicated unto the Lord. That's what it means. Your plan needs to be concrete. It needs to be something that you devote 
your self to in a in a it, just like just like if you went to the church and you went down in the water and came up different. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Your you need to get consecrated, devoted to a plan, and I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you a plan that's simple to follow. Y'all ready? Okay. Number one, you need three meals. Y'all see that? Let me give it one more shot. My cleaner is still on the board. Number one, you need three meals. Three meals. Okay. In one day, you get three meals. Your plan should always be at a maximum, you get three meals. Number two, you get three times, not three multiples, three times of the day. And you get to pick them. Just like your meals, the times that you eat, you get to pick. Okay, Georgina, if you'll just set your day and your timer, how many of you got a job? How many of you got kids? How many of you got a life that you have to plan your plan for? That you actually have to work your day through? This 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 super simple plan is going to require you to set aside some time to eat, okay? You're going to know what you're going to eat, and you're going to know when you're going to eat. Number three, and this is, the number three is not absolutely essential, but it is if you want to keep it simple, okay? You get a snack. You get a snack. Three meals, three times, and one snack. One snack a day. With this simple plan, I can say I can get it back involved with my centered, connected, cleaned out, convenient, consecrated method of operation. If I do these five steps, every day I journal what I eat. Every day, I make sure there's nothing in the house or in my life that's going to trip me up. Every day, I pray and I get myself in line with God. Every day when things come up, I pray through Jesus, through my God to get through it. Every day, I bless the name of the Lord. As soon as I feel the pressure let off, as soon as it feels like I made it through, bless God forever. That's what I want you to do. I want, you've got to get this process going. And it starts with realizing that you need this process. Okay, the reason why I can't do this by myself is because I need this process. Now, can I tell you how to build the best plan? Now, this is your this is the consecrated plan. Okay, this is not concrete to the point to where I'm telling you what to eat. You have to decide what to eat, but you need to have a format that you have said, on my perfect days, I get, a, I get one snack. Do I have to have it? No. On my perfect days, I eat up, I eat three times a day. Okay? I eat three meals a day. Do I have to eat three meals? No. Do I have to eat three times? But is there a maximum? Yes. Now, with that plan in mind, the best plans come in threes. I'm, I'm just going to share my experience with you. The best plans come in threes. So tonight is C's and threes. C's and threes. Okay, number one, you need three breakfast meals. All right, I'm going to allow you to unmute yourselves. I need some participation. Give me a breakfast meal that you like. <clears throat> mighty muffins. All right. I got mighty muffins. 
How many flavors do Mighty Muffins come in? A zillion. I don't think there's that many. <laughs> many, many. First, aren't I going to have to determine which ones I like and which ones I don't like? Deborah, yeah. Deborah, what happens when I eat me a mighty when I fix me a mighty muffin up? I've committed and I cook it up and it tastes just like shoe leather. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> have I committed to eat it? Do I have no. a backup plan? Do I take a holiday because my perfect meal didn't work out? Hey. No. No. We always need to try to set ourselves up with three. I'm going to tell you that a Mighty Muffin is a convenient meal. Now, you may love Mighty Muffins. They may be a go-to for you. For me, they would be a backup in case all other avenues fail. Okay? But we got Mighty Muffins. We need two more. Give me a good. I eat a lot of peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so a, a peanut butter, let's say a peanut butter wrap. Okay. 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 Peanut butter wrap. Anybody else? Good breakfast. Egg white. Eggs and apple cheese. Try again. Egg white omelet. Egg white omelet. Okay. So that we're going to say egg whites and spinach. Now, you may not like these three, but what am I doing by writing these things down? Giving ideas. I'll know what to get at the grocery store if I planned myself out what I might eat, what I like to eat, what's convenient for me. All you need is three breakfasts. Now we need three lunch. What's a good lunch? Salad. What kind of salad? Anybody? Y'all don't eat lunch. London broil sandwich. So a London broil sandwich. Okay. London broil sandwich. I had I heard let's go with a uh, let's go with a half avocado salad. Y'all may not like that. What else? Triple zero oikos yogurt. Okay. One to two triple zero yogurt. All right. Now, we've got, we've got some more stuff to contend with here on our grocery list. The more meals we plan out for ourselves, Jennifer, what happens? <clears throat> the bigger my grocery list becomes, okay? The more, Rebecca, I plan to eat, it's not about how much I'm going to spend. It's about how much I'm going to be able to consume, okay? I want y'all to think through this with me because I'm trying to teach you how to keep it simple. I'm only going with threes, but we're going to overwhelm ourselves with a whole bunch of food if we're not careful, okay? Some of us get caught up at the grocery store because our plan, it's not that it's uh, too grandiose, but we're winding up with stuff at, at the house. We wind up needing to eat three egg white omelets to get rid of the spinach we got, and we decide, I don't want that. That food's going bad. bad. I'll forget it. I'll start again on Monday. And then half of the rest of the stuff we got going to be gone. I'm going to help you through this in a minute. Now that we've done that, I believe this is a hypothetical uh, list anyway, right? 
Mm -hmm. So let's go with supper, right? Let's go with supper. We need three suppers. Chicken breast and broccoli. Okay, that's easy. Uh, chicken breast and broccoli. I like that one. Babe, what do we have? We have pulled pork and asparagus. What'd you have for dinner tonight, Anna Peach? Can you talk tonight? She may not can talk. No, I'm good. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a house full. Um, I had Brussels sprouts. Okay. That were roasted in the deep in the air fryer. Brussels. And half of. Yep. And. Half a fillet. Oh. We're gonna just put steak because. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, most. Of everything we put up here tonight for dinner had to be cooked, right? Pretty much. If either it had to be cooked or it had to be what? Pre-cooked. It either had to be cooked or it had to be pre-cooked. So um I'm gonna I'm gonna get now. What else do we need? Patricia, we need three snacks. We need three snacks, but uh, Trisha, give me your favorite snack. Ooh, I don't usually do a snack. Uh, a Quest Bar. Quest, Quest Bar is a good snack. It's an out and about snack. Awesome. I love it. Um, let's see who else I got here. Jenny, give me a, give me your favorite snack. The Shibola ice cream. Oh, Lord, I should have known that was coming. Oh, I didn't know it. Miss Virginia Kenzie right there is the queen of the Shibola ice cream. She's she she's got all kinds of recipes for different flavors of the Shibola ice cream. Okay, and um, anybody else got a favorite snack? Bell peppers. Gold bar too. What's that, Sherry? Gold bar. Did Sherry? I think Sherry had a, something. I like red bell peppers, and I cut them up. Okay. Uh, red bell peppers. Mm. Okay. Best thing about real be red bell peppers is they're actually a freebie. So, uh, and designating a, um, a freebie as a snack is even a, a better way to have a snack. Okay. Like Patricia said, she usually doesn't have snacks. Patricia has to work out her calories very strictly to stay in her calorie deficit, okay? And sometimes having a snack just getting in the car, okay? I don't know if you, if you have noticed, but when you go and you look at your profile or maybe do a body fat assessment on our website, sometimes it'll tell you, you don't get a snack. And I hate that, but sometimes that's the way it is. <laughs> anyway, now, now we've added even more food. If you're, if you're paying attention, now we're at, we've added even more food to our plan. So you say, Jason, I, I, I appreciate your lesson, but the more you talk, the less simple it's getting. Right? The less simple it's getting. First off, I want all of you to remember I'm teaching all of you at the same time. Okay, so if I was just sitting here with, 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 with Jerry and me and Jerry were working out a meal plan for her, then... It would only be foods that Jerry would want, and then it would be really easy to compute in, in her mind and in my mind how to build a meal, uh, 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 a grocery list out to go and shop for this stuff, okay? And maybe you're thinking along the lines at the same time, okay, what do I need on Monday? Because Monday's my busy day, but Tuesday's not so bad, right? Tuesday, I'll have time to maybe even cook two times a day. Or, 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 or maybe it's Wednesday. So now that we've learned how to do three, 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 and three, right? Three breakfast, three lunch, three dinners, three snacks. Every one of you needs to build yourself a three, 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 and three, 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 three and three. Yes, all that. Do that for yourself, okay? You got to do that for yourself. 
And then we're going to do this. Okay. Three, zero, one, trip. Now, my wife has probably just rolled her eyes. She's in the picture up there. She probably just rolled her eyes because I literally have a grocery store in between my house and work. Okay. Now, and I know some of you live a long way from the grocery store. So this is not practical for everybody. I get it. Okay. I get that it's not practical for everybody. But this plan is practical for everybody. I need you to adjust what I'm telling you to whatever your convenience is at the grocery store. Okay. You need three grocery trips a week. Okay. That way you're not building it up in your head to where every grocery store trip takes three and a half hours. I want you to have three, you're planning for three days food max. When you go one trip, you're buying food for three days max. Okay. Three days max. Now watch. If you cook dinner, and I know some, let's see, um, who can I pick on? Is Rebecca still here? Let me see. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. You can pick on me. Okay. How many kids you got? One. One kid, right? So you got to cook for that kid, right? <laughs> and you got a husband, right? Yeah. So, so when you're doing the, the the kid and the husband and yourself and you're doing that plan, you've you got to get the meals, uh, the portion of food for that. Now, if I'm cooking for what Anna had and it's filet in Brussels, it's hard for me. Even And I got a little Billy, Bitty family right now that's living with me. I got a big giant family. But if me and my wife were having filet in Brussels, we cook enough Brussels for three days and we cook enough filet for one night. Okay? So if you're cooking, Lynn Eldon cooks for three days. You got one meal, and then guess what? You got two perfect meals worth of leftovers that you don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. This keeps it super simple. If I'm shopping for three days, that means I only have to plan out one to two dinner meals oh, in that three-day period because all I got to do is alternate, okay? We went to Sam's. I'll give you an example. We got some mahi-mahi frozen uh, pieces of fish. They're already portioned and individually packaged. We got some salmon that has been individually portioned and packaged. They're both frozen. So we sat those things out in the in the refrigerator and cook them when we want them. But we cook our vegetables for three days setting. It doesn't take any time to take a thawed piece of fish and put it in the skillet and cook it and flip it over and cook it and put it on a plate and eat it. You just heat up. You, we got a little microwave with nuke stuff in. Y'all may be against the microwave. You can learn how to heat up things other way. But my, my, my point is it's super simple to meal prep when you think about these things in this way, okay? When you think, okay, it's actually going to be easy, easier for me, Suzanne, if, if instead of having to have something different every single meal, I would rather lose the same weight or more weight because I ate the same thing. Now, I'm going to give you some more tips. This is not it. So three days food max. Three grocery, grocery trips, a meal. Let me look at my notes, my notes. You got a three-day meal prep max. Don't, don't prepare, don't cook all at one time for more than three days unless you know you're going to eat it. Nothing is worse than throwing away food, okay? It, it's not that it's bad for the, the food. It's not that it's bad for you. It's bad for your, your psyche. There's something that happens inside of us when we put an effort into something and we don't consume it, okay? It's the same thing. As, it's why I want you to get somebody to hold your hand when you're doing your clean out, okay? Because you bought that stuff and it's in your house, 
okay? And at some point in time, you made a plan to eat that stuff. Now, we're not going to eat it now because it's not part of our new plan and it's not consecrated. So it's got to go. Same way for this uh, meal prep. You can over meal prep. If you're not super committed, it's very hard to stay to a plan that is more than three days out. Y'all following me? It's hard to stick with a plan that's more than three days out. And uh, my last three for right now, my last three for right now is three, it's three consecutive days max. It's okay, a 100% okay to eat the exact same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner three days in a row. Hmm. But let's switch it up after that. Okay. And I don't even, it's okay to eat the exact same thing three meals in a row. If you want to have chicken breast and broccoli for breakfast, chicken breast and broccoli for lunch, and chicken breast and broccoli for dinner, that's perfectly fine. If you want to do that for three days in a row, that's perfectly fine. But after that, we're going to change it up. We're going to eat something different. I don't care how much you like it. I want, I want I'm trying to, to develop a plan inside your body. Your metabolism will get used to it. Your digestive system will get used to it. We need to mix those nutrients up some, okay? We need a little bit of variety in our diet. I don't mean, and I mean that in a lit, the, the diet is uh, what you eat, okay? So we need some variety in our diet, some variety in what we eat. Now, questions. Have I done a good job tonight? Yes. Got any, does anybody have questions about how I've gone about laying this stuff out? Now, I promise you what I've told you tonight is my experience. Okay, I'm not just, I'm not just throwing stuff at the wall here. I, I'm telling you, these are things that I've been doing this full time since 2013. I've been very successful with this program. And what I'm telling you are the things that I have done and that I do to make it work, okay? That doesn't mean that I always make it work. But if you'll do this, if, if you'll, if, especially if you're struggling, if you feel like you've hit a wall, you feel like you've hit a plateau, there's probably something in your house that needs to get out. Okay, there's probably some surrender inside of you that needs to happen. You're probably holding on to something, some food idea, some, uh, uh, some processed food. I don't know what it is that's not helping you. It's hurting you and you're justifying it somehow. It needs to be surrendered over to God. Okay, and, and when we stay in a position of I can't do this alone, I need God to help me, okay? The weight comes off. It just does. The, the simpler we keep it, the better this thing works. I, it's almost as if, Holly, and I know this may sound strange because I love to teach people about Shibboleth, but the more you know, the harder it gets. Because you want to, to have what everybody else is having. And you want to have it the way everybody else is having it. And if you're, if you're willing to sacrifice some of your progress, it's okay to have holidays every week. Okay? If you're willing to sacrifice some of your, uh, your hard-won uh, uh, battles, to be fought again, it's okay to have a holiday whenever you want one. I love the work hard, play hard mentality that we have at Shibboleth. 
but everybody needs to learn how to work hard first. And that's your that's your old pal Jason talking to you, okay? Y'all y'all came to my class tonight, and 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 uh, and granted, Travis is my teacher, and he's the guy that 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 he's the boss. But I'm telling you, everybody can't work hard and play hard. Some of us will work hard and play hard ourselves right out into uh, our, our the, the size shirt we were wearing last spring. And that ain't what we want. Mm -hmm. We want to wear, we want to wear the shirt size that we want to wear. We want to wear the pants size we want to wear. Some of you, uh, my, my wife wants to get in the bikini she wants to wear. She's ready to go to the beach. She's tired of messing around with this thing. A severe thunderstorm watch has been issued for your location. Uh-oh, it's got a thunderstorm watch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. How I'm one you? of the ones that I'm one of the ones that needs to work hard and sort of play. Not okay. play hard, but sort of. Okay. What? My calorie limit is too low to play hard. It costs me too much. Work hard after the play hard if it's really a hard play. So I just don't do it usually. Thank you for that, Patricia. Anybody else got anything tonight? Just one thing. Okay. Um, somebody mentioned about the yogurt that they used it for a meal. Uh huh. I find that that doesn't really hold me. For instance, I've tried that, and then by it's not long before I'm hungry, so I say, "Well, I got to give that up." Can okay. that be used as a, a snack, or is that? It, it could be. It could be used as a snack. It absolutely could. One. Uh, one. I think they're 100, 110 calorie uh, serving. Uh, triple zero Oikos yogurt would be a, would be an excellent snack. And when I say an excellent snack, I mean uh, let's just, let me rephrase that. It would be a good snack. Okay, it, it's as good as any good snack. We are safe inside. So. I haven't been keeping up with the chat and I apologize. Um, am I missing some things in here that I need to go back and look at? Um, Jennifer, let me look. My, it's, it's, I believe we're recording. We are, this is gonna be recorded. So if you want a copy of the class, I can send you one. Lynn says, I use, uh, use it in a meal with a salad as a one, two, and five. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Angela says, let's see, I may be missing something. Is Angela still here? Yes. Um, talk to me about, about what's going on with your emotional uh, stuff, the hard task. I want to understand. You're restricted in, in what you can have. You, don't, you can't have many, many options. Ah, I see what you're saying. So you're talking about exercise. Oh, you're, I'm, I'm with you. So yes, now here's the deal. I want you to know that you can be as successful as anybody else uh, if you'll just stay focused on your portion control and stick with, uh, stick with your portions. Lost almost 60 pounds in six weeks. Wow. wow. Bless God, Brett. Wow. That's fabulous. Aren't y'all proud of her? Oh, yeah. Everybody clap for her. That's Amen. Awesome. Yay. Her. Awesome. awesome job. Yeah. Not, yes, you better be blushing. I wish I could see your face. All right. Well, okay. more questions? Just one more. Awesome. Come on. Okay, uh, uh, when you take a holiday, are we supposed to write down what we've eaten on the holiday? Um, mm -hmm. Now, here's where I think the, the, <laughs> the camera is going to be your best, your best friend. Um, 
Jerry, I don't think that you, you probably don't struggle with food like I do. Now, I don't know, you might. Um, I have a, I have, um, I have abused my, uh, with my brain's receptors, but let's put it like that. My brain doesn't uh, accept the hormones that say you're done eating uh, like it should, because I have stressed and not paid attention to those for years and years at a time. I am an overeater. I don't just have a problem eating the wrong food. I eat way too much. Mm -hmm. So for me, writing down or taking a picture of what I have on my holidays is a great accountability tool for me, okay? Mm -hmm. If you don't have a problem having a holiday meal or a holiday and getting back on the program, maybe writing down every single item that you have is not quite necessary. Okay. I have taught many people how to do this program that didn't do it exactly the way that I told them to and were very successful. But for me, at least for a while, I had to write down exactly what I was eating. Meaning if I went from nature's own double fiber wheat bread to nature's own 40 calorie honey wheat bread to Thomas Light English muffin to La Banderita 50 calorie uh, wraps, I had to write those things down individually in my journal or else it would just look like peanut butter sandwich, <laughs> right? Turkey sandwich. That's me. And if, if I were to call up Joni and say, Joni, I need to you go over my journal with me. Joni's going to go, well, what is it? What's a turkey sandwich, <laughs> right? How much turkey? How much bread? What kind of bread? Did you have condiments on there? What were they? How much of it was there? You know, and then once you get my overeating self in there, I can justify a whole lot of crap in the turkey sandwich. But when I lay it out there, or my friend Brooks gave me this awesome suggestion because he struggles with portions as well. He said, buy a uh, buy yourself a set of a table uh, measuring spoons, measuring cups, and get a food scale. And I said, I don't want to. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, do I have to? He said, no, but if I don't, I'll cheat. Yeah. And I said, really? He said, no, I'll cheat every time. Yeah. And see, that's the thing, y'all. I came to terms with the fact that I do that too. And I don't want to cheat every time. I want to be perfect every time. I want it to be <laughs> so consecrated i want it to be so dedicated to the lord that when i get my measuring my little tablespoon out and i pull a kim Danky and i get a a, a a knife and dip in the peanut butter and put it in the measuring spoon and, and flatten it out and then i look at the knife and I, I have to have a dilemma am i gonna lick the knife and the spoon or or, or how's this gonna work but when you do that y'all when you do that it makes a difference <laughs> At the end of the day, oh, man, Patricia's okay. got a portion plate up here. Can I share my fun plate? Sure. Here's a problem. Uh, well, this is a problem with America. This is in the baby and kids section at Walmart, and this mm -hmm. is an adult portion plate. This is a seven-inch plate, and look at my hand. So it's a really good size portion plate and it comes in a set of three for under five dollars in different colors. And it's deep <laughs> enough that a salad will be right. here and then you can have two different or one veggie, whatever there. But anyway, these are the best portion control plates that I have found. I found them about two weeks ago, so I'm really enjoying them. All right, tell us where you found it them. It is seven inches, baby section of Walmart. And was there a lid for it? Pardon? Did it have a lid? Lid. No, no lid. No lid. Just All right, so, so you have to get you some aluminum for some plastic wrap with that one. Yeah. <laughs> but yep. it looks like a great tool. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah, but anyway. I'm having fun with them. And they I'm come glad. in different colors, too. Well, 
I, and like I say, I, I hope this has been a good lesson for you. It's been fun for me. Um, I, I, I have taught this lesson many times over the years, and it always gets a little different. It's changed some over the years. So if you've seen it before, hopefully uh, y'all have gotten something out of this maybe you didn't get before. Um, hope you'll take the, your C's and your threes seriously. And give me feedback. You know, if you if you try to work this thing out, maybe you need some help with the clean out. Maybe you need some help with the um, getting connected. Reach out to me. I'll be happy to work on that with you. Maybe you need help with the consecration. You want a, a better plan. I'll be happy to help you with that stuff. Reach out. We'll get together and we'll figure it out. Okay. Here's a question. Uh, as a newbie, I skipped lunch, but Cade with kids and ate a slice of pizza. Still a holiday because I skipped a meal calories, unsure how to log. Um, if it was, uh, it, it, I'll be honest, if it was one slice of pizza and it was a thin crust pizza and it fit under your hands, then, uh, then you could count that as part of a perfect day, Okay. You could count that as a perfect meal. One slice of thin crust pizza that fits under your hands is fine, but I wouldn't justify it because I skipped an, a meal earlier. Okay, that's that is a trick of uh, that that we'll fall victim to later if we don't call it out now. Okay, so the best thing to do is to just log it as unsure okay log it as unsure day and i would submit that journal day for review and in the notes section i would just type in unsure how to journal any help you could give me would be appreciated and be sure to log in everything that you journaled or, or that you ate in your journal that's a great question angel i'm i'm so thankful you asked it because there's i guarantee you there's a lot of people here that wanted to hear that answer Okay, anybody else got questions? I'm, I probably have missed some. Y'all think I'm crazy for looking up in the air. I thought I was crazy too. I've, I've got a giant screen behind this one. A small pickle fork and a dessert spoon. <laughs> awesome. You're welcome, you guys. I think I'm going to uh, uh, call it, a, uh, uh, call it a, a night. We'll say our prayer. We'll meet again. Next Monday night at the same time, I'll be sending out a text alert. Uh, if you guys didn't hear the beginning of the lesson, I do have a request that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's The Switch Handler. And hit the notifications bell after you subscribe. And if you've got any friends out there, any friends out there that want to uh, join the program, the, the number four, lifedeal.com, four, lifedeal.com, all one word, is a lifetime membership for $99 on me. So just share that with your friends. And if you need to tell them to, that you referred them, I'm, I'm happy to oblige. Just get that out to the masses. One more time. That email one more time. It's, it's, a, it's a web address. The number four. Then lifedeal.com. Okay. For lifedeal.com. 